Hi, this is Andrew Krug, the Global Community Manager for Niantic Labs, and you're listening to the Agent Academy Podcast. Today's podcast is brought to you by Audible. Get a free audiobook download and 30-day free trial at www.audibletrial.com slash agentacademy. Over 180,000 titles to choose from for your iPhone, Android, Kindle or MP3 player. And now, welcome to the Agent Academy. Downloading latest Intel package. Welcome back. I was getting worried about you. Agent Academy, episode number 59, recorded on June 3rd, 2019. I'm Agent Goonie Guy. And I'm Agent Zelly Belly. And uh, welcome to a new show. And I'm already clicking on wrong things. It was supposed to do it automatically and didn't. Uh, it was go. a good try. It was a good try. There was a lot of good tries. Fast that was couple a good weeks. effort. Yeah. <laughs> Heard that yeah, a lot we were lately. trying. <laughs> we had a lot of good first tries of things. Yeah, and we'll be talking about that today during the show, during uh, news time and situation report. But uh, we, we've had some things we've done i guess over the past week and a half since the last episode of the show got to see you in person that was kind of cool which was awesome really yeah cool. i mean it wasn't the first time no but it was still it's, cool because it's every time i see you is awesome so it's fine it is and i uh my son got to meet y'all he's a sweet guy that was really cool he liked y'all he thought y'all were funny yay and uh, so anyway, uh, what else have you been up to? Me? Yeah. Oh, I thought we were going to do you first. Oh. Okay. Um, I might have missed Well, the let's see. I got my plat Trekker. Nice. And I got my gold connector. And that's like the boringish stuff, I guess. Uh, we have a new player that I've... Uh, I don't know if I wrangled him into to playing the game or if other co-workers wrangled him into playing the game but we have a new co-worker playing and he's already level six nice so yeah so we got to get him verified locally and that gives me seven co-workers oh we're so close to those like insta p8s i'm just like oh. so y- you and six co-workers so you have seven yes. people yes i think you get one so more. I need one more. I have another person on the fence. So <laughs> there's some eventually. bribery coming up soon. I'm pretty sure. I give away prizes every week, and occasionally the prizes are tempting, but not tempting enough. Like mm. the week I gave out green bubble ones, like a lot of people were like, "Hey, <laughs> how do I get one of those?" I'm like, "You have to play the stupid game of life." <laughs> <laughs> That's an awesome like, idea. Oh. <laughs> Or you could go to the dollar store and buy them. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's it's effort. Not... Like when they show yeah. up in your office and you're oh, yeah, playing the game I, too. Yeah. I walk around and put them on their desk. So when they, if they're not at their desk, they just come back to the surprise on their desk. <laughs> so it's kind of cool. That's awesome. Um, yeah. yeah. So I, we have a contest each week about like whoever gets the most IP for that week, get like the top three or however many of the things I bought, get the prizes. So... That's how that works. That's but, epic. Yeah. So, everybody so it that. kind of gets people noticing, like, hey, what are they doing? <laughs> so, so are you getting talk. any recruiter badge action for any of that? No. Or? Zero. Yeah. Because the way the recruiter badge is set up is not good. Because you, <laughs> it's so hard to explain to a new person, like, okay, yeah, you can download the game, but don't download the game. Use this link that I'm going to email you and click that from your phone and then download it from there so I get credit. And then they're always like, but I can see it right here in the app store. I can just <laughs> click it, right? I'm like, yeah, you can. Yeah. And you don't want to bother someone who's like, like getting someone to the point where they're going to download the game and go through that 20 minute tutorial. <laughs> Like you already don't want to lose them, you know? right? So it's like, it's like any one more, barrier, one more entry, barrier. Yeah, yeah. It's just I just I'd rather not throw up the obstacles. I got my two. I have credit for two, 
So I got a, the badge unlocked at least, and I'm happy with that. Like I don't, like I don't care. It's fine. <laughs> um, so uh, let's see. I missed out on the first Saturday of, for June uh, for good reasons. It was my bestie's baby queue, which mm. sounds like like it's a baby barbecue, but um, you it's barbecue not, babies. It's not that we're barbecuing babies it's that instead of having a baby shower she wanted to have a barbecue with her friends because she's one of those people she's like but most of my friends are like guys and girls and so traditional shower just like she's like that's like half my friends can't go (laughs) so so she was like let's just have a barbecue (laughs) get rid of some babies at the same time yeah and it was really great except uh there was a horrendous like thunderstorm that blew through and oh. so the all the decorations and stuff were up for like maybe 20 minutes before like thunderstorm and hail and well we didn't see the hail but it was around people driving into the sh- to the barbecue still were like there was hail <laughs> and apparently y'all just have thunderstorms on saturdays apparently it's right because <laughs> yeah that we'll get to that part but yeah i'm sitting there and i'm getting ready to eat my my uh pulled pork sandwich and the wind comes through and my entire cup of dr pepper goes right into my food oh. <laughs> and then the wind picks up the canopy that we're sitting at and it just blows past me and i'm just like <laughs> <laughs> and the guy sitting across from me who i just met like four minutes earlier he just reaches up like grabs it with the, like, the leg of it as it goes to fly by and i'm like Oh my gosh, you're like a hero. <laughs> this thing would have ended up in the street. <laughs> anyway, it was a mess. So I was kind of like, uh, I heard for Saturday people, because it was local, obviously, um, they got hit pretty hard and they got uh, some hail and stuff too. Mm. But um, it blew over about 20 minutes of crazy rain and then it blew over and everything's fine. Huh. But no power loss, though. No, not that day. <laughs> Do you want to get to your week and sure talk about we can get to that stuff? Sure, I did go to uh, first Saturday, in and it was in uh, Birmingham, Alabama, a couple hour and a half away from where I am, and met a uh, few agents. But I just so I'm doing a little test, a little experiment on my own because mm-hmm. there's always questions about how the ap works or whatever and it it seems pretty simple and i just want to test it because there's always this well you gotta sign up and register and then show your stats and and do all this stuff and that's really just for the people putting on the event those don't really do anything other than that because they just give a big total so anyway i went and i uh i said hi to some folks but then i just hacked the the first Saturday portal when it went live and then I went and waited for time and went and did my stuff and I, I didn't actually like submit my scores because I, I didn't even want to be on the board like I just wanted to go get my triple AP and uh, there, there were some extenuating circumstances on why and I don't even know if I want to get into it we'll do that maybe later so I'll tell you about it, then you tell me if I should later. Okay. How about that? You, you can be my the the angel on my shoulder because right now I've got the devil right. up there and it's telling me oh, to. Man. Anyway, so I com- so I, I got have- backtracking a little. Okay, bit. I'm gonna interrupt you real quick. Okay. I I heard a rumor that there's massive video lag. Oh massive yeah live chat is reporting like i guess my whole baby barbecue story just ruined the the stream i don't know oh they might they'll have to watch it live or recorded i guess yeah the recorded one is coming through fine um it is the stream i see it's like kind of slideshow and pixely so um i blame our we're not dropping any frames, so I don't know. No, I blame the streaming Twitch. service because yeah. we're we're clear as a bell. Yeah. 
So I, I'm sorry for anyone watching live. Hopefully it will clear up, but uh, there will be a recorded version, which I know kind of yeah. sucks. I'm sorry. They say the audio is fine, um, so that's good. Hmm. Maybe it's the hmm. new, the new uh, stream. Should I go to the old Maybe. one? I can go to the old one. You can give it a try. I don't see. Why. I don't know why that would matter. But we even got a little Batman animation that goes through. And it could be the new restream chat. They have a new system of chat that does some weird stuff. I don't know why any of that would mess with the video, but we will look into it and hopefully fix it next time. But this is live, so we must continue. The show yes. must go on. Sorry. Yeah. And so at the anomaly, you made you, you gave me all these really cool buttons. They were I cool did. AF buttons for both factions to give out. I printed out some I made I would like to point out, I made blue ones. I made I resistance ones because I was being fair. I bought equal numbers. Yeah. I was like, yeah, this is going to be good. Just give them out. Just give them away. Yeah. And it would have been awesome. Good promotion. Yes. Would have been awesome. Um, did you not make it to the anomaly? So. <laughs> <laughs> did you not see people? Were there not people at the anomaly? So I'm not so used to like big city traffic mm -hmm. and when my son come pulling up to this did you throw him out the window in the middle of the city all suddenly it felt like oh my god we gotta because there's all these guys around the car waiting to get the keys to like take the car and we're like trying to get the stuff out of the car well the box that it was in so i didn't get any of the swag like i have a full bag of swag and didn't get that oh out god. like none of it like it was just mass chaos and it's completely my fault and I'm sorry and I'm sorry to everybody who was there who didn't get any um, buttons. Like all I had were just like my own cards that I had. I didn't even have the new cards for like the anomaly. Like all the stuff that we printed out and did, you did so much and it was so awesome. But we'll go back to the anomaly in a second. But at first Saturday, okay. I made sure I took it all there because it was cross faction too and I yeah. I put out all the buttons and uh so a lot of people got buttons there. Okay. So they were used and I still have some. Yeah. That I can mail back to you with an apology no. note. A letter you of apology. More, <laughs> you go to way more stuff than I do. I may may and not I, be for a while. I don't know. And I have stuff. I kept some of it so okay. I could get out. Well, and I have, um, I put them on my button wall. I don't know if they can even be seen here. I Aww. mean, I only put the green ones on here, but. <laughs> oh, yeah. There's blue versions. Uh, so I love, like, the drift happens, uh, down to field. Uh, uh, even put A the... lot of them are puns on swears, so, like, you can't give them to your kids, but. Because uh. otherwise your kids are like, what does AF mean? And you're like, uh. Autofocus. <laughs> Auto field. Yeah. <laughs> awesome field. E and L awesome field. Right. You can tell your kids DTF means down to field, but you don't want them going to school and saying that. Right. <laughs> and so everyone that came up and said hi to me, you were supposed to get a card special for Abaddon Prime. Hit me up on Telegram. Just search for Goonie Guy. I've actually changed my name on there to Goonie Guy, so you can find me. And I will send you a picture of the card. And I, and I know, I don't know everyone's name in Telegram. I knew uh, Dewey J, so I already sent him one. But just hit me up on there, and I will get you th your card for there. And I apologize because uh, they were awesome. And the buttons. I don't know what we to do about the buttons. Okay, it, it's just par for the course because we had we had so many plans for this anomaly to like give things away and to just be like on the scene and keeping people up to date and being a part of things. Like I wasn't going, but I had planned to, to live stream the whole thing. Like start half an hour before it went. You uh, had Andrew Krug on and everything, and you had a couple other people lined up to like talk to us. And uh, we were learning. It wasn't set up perfectly, but we were kind of like going with it, you know, as as we were 
getting things done. So I didn't have all the layouts I could have had if I, you know, if we had kind of uh, understood the structure a little better. But like, it was going to be a learning experience. But the <laughs> we had a flash storm <laughs> locally here in Michigan, and um, it was only a five minute storm. Buckets, buckets, buckets. Six like lines went down just a like half a mile away not even a full mile away like half a mile away and so we lost power for like the entire anomaly so i was on for like an hour we lost power for ever and then i was back for like the results of the anomaly like it, it <laughs> just came on and i'm like okay and i'm jumping on <laughs> by then i mean it was, it was important stuff you it was see me flailing it's... around on the streets of Chicago going, where do I go? <laughs> no. So I still would like to learn how is your your anomaly. <laughs> right? <laughs> right. And it it was uh, a good there's we lost by so little, like less than four points. That because I was live streaming a lot of it, there's like this whole thought after it. Like I was just beating myself up for like still am just like, doing the numbers, no, I didn't cause, like, the loss. But it just felt like it because we were so close. It's just like, if I could have done just a little bit more, and if I hadn't been live streaming and had been out there doing, you know, hey, hacks or whatever. you weren't live streaming because I couldn't live stream. <laughs> but I was taking pictures. You were. Well, you were reporter. embedded reporter, so yeah. And, and the, you know, they were talking to... Um, folks uh about that were in better reporters saying you know hey you know get get your pictures ready so that you can actually you know play in the anomaly itself so there, there was that and it, i got to see a bunch of people and, and ran around and i think I, I got some pictures that i wouldn't have been able to get if i had just been with my team the whole time uh, unfortunately my team didn't was not aware like they knew i was an embedded reporter but they thought i was going to be with them the whole time and i was like uh well so there's some miscommunication because you know i'd planned to stream from the start and you know talk with with some folks in the uh, building and film some stuff so we got to interview andrew krug for just a few minutes before the anomaly which was, was super generous of him to step on camera because i was just asking hey sometime maybe after or whatever he's like how about right now and i was like oh crap i have no questions ready for you but let's do it you know and so we hopped on and uh train wreck of that but he, he's always great because yeah i don't know if you saw how i was set up but it was just my phone with my headset mic that was dangling from my ear and so i'm like we're gonna have to like this is the mic right here so he just said well let's just do this and he just threw his arm around me and started talking right there next to the mic so yeah, he we was, we would like to do um, a more professional traveling podcast, but uh, it, it takes equipment, and equipment takes money, and uh, we aren't generating money. So. <laughs> 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 Not equipment type of money. So yeah. we have money, then we we make buttons and stuff. That buttons. That go in a box in Brent's garage, apparently. <laughs> um, Never going to live it down. <laughs> that's what we used our funds for instead of nice traveling equipment. Yeah. But <laughs> next time we'll invest in the traveling equipment. You can leave the traveling equipment in a box in your car. Yeah. Well, and it's just the whole, like you're trying to do something for the anomaly as well as do this. So it's like you already have like a bag full of like your water for the day and like supplies and all this stuff so it's like mm -hmm. i wouldn't have been able to really carry around lot, equipment yeah. like i would need someone else and i had my son with me and yeah he could carry around some stuff but he like he he hasn't been to an anomaly for the whole time before and i think he underestimated like how much walking and sun there is so it was like when we were at the end he was just beat and we had planned to like go out after oh. the anomaly and you know hang out in chicago and he was just you know his feet were like he was getting some blisters and i was like okay let's yeah. let's go back and and deal with the blisters and and uh see how you're feeling and then we just like conked out uh so 
The other thing that really sucked was so I, the Chicago Enlightened, sold some posters early on, to you know kind of, I guess get people excited about the anomaly. And I'd got one, and I took it to Chicago to get everybody to sign it. Well, this is one of the things that um, I wasn't able to bring out the day that we were going and shooting the stuff because of just equipment and I couldn't really like okay carry this poster tube around with us as well and keep track of it when I've got everything else anyway left it in the hotel room so it's sitting in Chicago still with the few people uh, I got to sign it in the first place so that's great so apparently I need someone to just check all the gear keep me on track I need yeah, you to keep me I'm on track I gotta say, I'm, I'm not surprised. You forgot the machine that keeps you breathing when you came to see me. So if that's yeah, not a priority okay. for you, I just, I'm never surprised ever by anything. I'm, I'm happy your son made it home with you. And so is my wife. <laughs> She's very happy. That was the one thing I had to worry about. It's my ADD. Yeah. Like, if I do not take my meds, that's what happens. I just lose track of everything. So. <laughs> Aw. Um, you did good. It's a lot a lot i yeah i don't know i don't know what the answer is um perhaps if i could have gone with i would have just had a table like at the location and could have done stuff from there i don't know but i couldn't afford i couldn't like one person not manage to go with we need yeah. a team huh we need a team like producers and yeah cameramen yeah, yeah. and women camera people need, i think we could do it with three i think we could but yeah, I think we could. Yeah. Well, and I, I got to meet a bunch of folks. Saw Dewey J and Simon Says too. We actually have. I don't know if we want to play it now, but I got a little man on the street action with Dewey J. I do. Or do we want to wait for sit some other segment? I'll just play it now. Sure. All right. Hey, hey agents. How's it going? This is Agent Goonie Guy here in Chicago with Agent Dewey J. Yeah. How are you doing? We're doing great. Uh, we made our way through with the Chicago traffic. Now we're just going to have to walk through the Chicago traffic. The nice thing is there's a parade today. Oh. Ought to make for an interesting anomaly. Uh-oh. That would be fun. So are you prepared? And we're prepared. Uh, I think our resistance plan is that we put our Darsana lens in a Q-cap. So we probably got like eight of them, and we're just going to use them every round. Oh, so nice, nice. It'll so be easy. Any other plans you'd like to divulge for the... Uh, uh, I think it's kill all things green. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like a good one. I think uh, Enlighten has a similar plan. I kill think it's, all, I think it's probably, blue. probably blue. <laughs> well, good luck out good there, luck. and thanks for chatting with everybody. Yep. And uh, we'll see you on the next episode. Yep. Bye, everybody. Bye. So, thank you, Dewey J. It was great meeting you out there. That was awesome. And, uh, and I may be having internet issues. I don't know. I dropped the, the stream and just put it back up on, just on Twitch, not using Restream, and it seems to be working better for folks. So okay. Hopefully, but you keep dropping out, so I'm, I need to make sure my son's yeah. off the internet next time. Um, let's see. We have some stuff from T.S. Morpheus coming up. Got to uh, talk with Theta from T.S. Morpheus at the Anomaly. Have something to play from him as well. Trying to think uh, what else is going on. NL1331, right? Yeah, yeah, we went to that. And we went to one in uh, Michigan. The Ann Arbor Ypsilanti one. And yeah. you gave out cool uh codes for that. They were like badges for our website, agentacademypodcast.com. And um the image on it is a water tower <laughs> in the city where we were. At. That's right. Which water you didn't tower. get to see because it's not we didn't actually meet where the water tower is. And I was gonna show it to you, yeah. but we ran out of time. Um but we were so, supposed to make a field yeah. too. Um yeah. We, we did some yeah. portaling. Um, I mean, we capped some portals together, and I was throwing some fields. I mean, you were telling me not to because it was a bad place to be throwing fields, but I don't listen well. So I take him I take him to Wine Dot, which is like... <laughs> Wine Doty. This, it's, Wine Dot's this area along the Detroit River, um, south of Detroit, 
and it has tons of portals just and they're all along the river so like um and it's at a park so it's kind of good because you you have to like get out of your car and walk to them and so it's a hindrance to some people that you know they don't like to get an order to the park has hours that you can't be there and stuff so it's kind of like a good strategic location for things I'm not giving away anything everyone knows <laughs> so, <laughs> um, <laughs> so there, it's a good place to throw fields from but um, when people throw fields from that location they don't micro field the area typically what they do <laughs> is they're throwing stuff to another city like big multi-layered fields so if you microfield the area or throw crazy links in the area um you're gonna jam up the works quite a bit <laughs> for your team because the other team's like ha they're gonna leave it <laughs> mm -hmm. you did their work for them <laughs> so um so yeah uh he, he i just kind of gave him a heads up like don't throw links here because i'm not sure what fielding plans it'll gum up and i don't have that many adas so uh, jabbering was saying I just look, throw them just go ahead and throw them no, I, it's all good. no no <laughs> <laughs> that's my husband <laughs> so i look down and i'm seeing links just <laughs> go like, what are you doing uh, it wasn't that many and uh i messaged the local players that would have been impacted and they were really they were like, ah, it's fine. And they, they took care of it with their EDAs because I'm, I'm ADA poor. <laughs> Tell them I'm sorry. Not sorry. No, you weren't sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to lie to him. Someone's oh, hoping to get 16. It's it's all good. I actually, um, they, the group that it impacted were some of the people we met at the van event. Oh. Hey. A table next to us. It was yeah. them. Hey, they were really nice. So yeah, they were really nice. Speaking of, like but that was all... before you threw a bunch of janky links. What? <laughs> I was gonna say, speaking of, all all the um, people I met were were really nice. Like your your uh, fielding group. What would you call that? Your friends. Your people. They're my the friends. Um, they the people at the table with us are all the people, all my coworker players, but they're my friends too. So yeah. Yeah. yeah, they were awesome. We all get along. Yeah, they are awesome. They're very supportive and very positive, and it's great. It was is uh, a really good crew, really good crew. But yeah. you gotta have those. I mean, you don't have to, but it, yeah. it's nice. It helps. It's awesome to have them. Yeah. <laughs> so. So. I don't know. That's not all that. Wait for that. I I didn't actually get to meet a lot of people at the van event because I I mean. We only met the table next to us because they were like, hey, who are you guys? Right. <laughs> and, um, I, I find it so difficult to just walk up to people and say, so who are you? You know, like, yeah. and then I feel like a total, like, I can't really get mad at you for not giving out stuff because I have trouble giving out stuff too because I'm like, do you want stuff from my podcast? <laughs> I, mean, I feel like that. <laughs> I feel like they're going to be like, no. <laughs> like, that's why I like the idea and of the so, table. So you can set up a table that just has yeah. like the Agent Academy podcast. If Have you want crap, come there. over and get it. This, this is who we are. Please come if you want it. I don't want to like go force it on people. Yeah, exactly. If you like it, that's fantastic. But mm. I don't want to like go up to people and then have them go, go away. <laughs> <laughs> podcast? That's so 90s. Yeah, every yeah everybody has a podcast. Okay. <laughs> like I know, but yeah, we but have theirs one. is on Facebook only. It's not really a podcast because it's not an RSS feed. You no. have to have an RSS feed, <laughs> and you have to be on iTunes, and you have to be on Google Play, and you have to be on Spotify, and stuff like that. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Don't otherwise don't, you're don't just mess a with YouTube us with podcasting. Or you're a Facebook live show, and that's fine if yes. you're a Facebook live show or if you're a YouTube channel. That's totally, that's that's a thing. That's fantastic. Yeah, you're not a podcast. Not a podcast. <laughs> not a podcast. So that's, should we? This is. Uh, should we just head on to the podcasting uh, for two right here? To the next one. Yeah. Or, or did you want to talk about anything else? 
Did you say no, no van um, badge I just, yet? I haven't, I haven't received my van badge yet. And, so, but I've heard it takes a couple of weeks. Okay. I don't know why it, it may. takes a couple of weeks. It to may. Get the van badge. Because, like, I was there and I hacked it, pop up, but. <laughs> yeah, I'm not so sure it works. I think there may be an issue because, I mean, I've been to everyone with an anomaly this year. So, five, I, I went to five anomalies and I went to five vans. And then besides that, I went to two other vans. Or is that mm -hmm. three now? Anyway, I have two on my scanner showing up when I should have like seven or eight. And so I don't, you know, I don't know if it's worth going, hey, uh, Ethan, uh, can you check your records? Yeah. Um, yeah, because that's, that's hard because a lot of people showed up for that. And like, I don't know. There, yeah. Some people like travel pretty far to get to those, so you'd think, you know, and it's a hard badge unlock to begin with for people. So, yeah, it was kind yeah. of, it was kind of, um, I was kind of hoping we got the badge sooner because the new coworker that's playing, he um, just started playing that day, so we had him register for the van event that day, yeah. and um, he showed up and hacked it. So I, I thought it'd just be hilarious. If the van badge was the first badge you ever got. Oh, that would be funny. Because, <laughs> like, no, it happens to nobody, you know? <laughs> <laughs> so that was kind of like, oh, this would be so fun. <laughs> but, yeah, he just started playing that day, and then we, like, th threw all that at him. We were like, okay, so now that you're playing, come to the net. And he's like, what is this? <laughs> <laughs> so, do they do this every game. weekend? Like, yeah, this is what we always do. <laughs> that was be fun because i had a great time that would be really fun pizza and vans but, mm -hmm. and there's good. these missions that are only available at the van if you've never been to one um i didn't know this and so on redacted once you click on the van that because the van is a portal once you click on the portal it shows up in the menu right there uh missions and so you can click on missions and see what missions are available from the van portal. Uh, if you're in Prime, there's just this little icon. down. Like, once you click on the portal, there's this little icon in the corner. Um, and you click on that, and then the missions pop up. And so I had already been, like, hacking and throwing links and blowing stuff up and not didn't realize that it was for a mission. I was just like, ah, I'll be in dumb. <laughs> 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 and then, uh, so I'm like, oh, there's missions. So then I was trying to get the mission done. And so... Me and my one friend, we we were sitting there, and you had to throw a link, but we couldn't keep the van long enough to like with fully <laughs> resonators and and like throw the link. So we we're like, oh my gosh! And so we're yelling at all the other people at our table, like, where are you deploying? And they they were like, <laughs> oh, I already did that. Oh. <laughs> no, you're gonna keep doing it. <laughs> no, you're gonna do it again. <laughs> yeah, and then the hard one is fielding <laughs> off of it. Like, I ah. didn't even try that one. I did not. I got Definitely. one of them. I'm like, done. And we were... Oh, it was kind of funny because she's kind of competitive too. So, like, once we got it, we, like, were... Ah! We high five. We made total jerks out of ourselves. <laughs> no. <laughs> no Y'all were awesome. <laughs> awesome it was times. Fine. Speaking of awesome times, how about we do a little bit of this? Sit, 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 situation report. I gotta fix that. Anyway, so <laughs> we're gonna do the situation report. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna do that thing. I forget you can't hear that, but uh, <laughs> there was a thing there, and it's a thing. So Abaddon Prime goes through the resistance by less than four points. So that's hard. It's difficult. Oh yeah, that. Um, <laughs> oh, yeah. So, yeah, and Lightning were like in the lead for the entire thing, and then they're like, "Oh, and here's the bonus points that make that entire round unimportant." <laughs> 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 and Resistance won all of that. So, um, well, I have like the whole strategy. I think it's been on. It's been a, made its way around the interweb webs now, but if you yeah. didn't know, they had these buses, these tour buses uh, available, resistance, and they were really smart. And what they did was they would have a team, the teams get on buses strategically, 
and take them around the city to do the unique hacks. And then they would come back from the tour, get off, put new team on, and they rotated them. Just brilliant, like just super organized. And getting those unique hack points was crucial. Yeah, yeah, that's what it came down to, honestly, is the... Uh, um... 65 points goes to whoever won that category and zero points to the other one, which is huge. Like if you think yeah. everything else going even, then you've got to battle over that one. I mean, that's the most important category in my opinion is 65 zero. You know, the rest should be, even if you're getting ahead <laughs> and we, we knew they had a Darsana lens. So, how they did the scoring on the capture battles, you knew there was going to be at least one phase where they should be ready to try to cap as much as they can because they're going to use the lens, it's going to wipe everything, and they should be prepared to, even if it didn't go ahead of us or whatever, they're going to get something close, and it's going to be, you know, even. Uh, the shard battle, um, you know, that's where the points, all they've got to do is ha have one measurement with some points and... Uh, that one's going to be half and half, sort of. And so, yeah, it all came down to that. And it was. It was a good strategy. I, you know, there's some people who are upset at the strategy, but, it, but the rules are the rules. Everyone knew what the scoring was in advance. Yep. Yeah. And it's not they, like, like, I actually proffered this same idea of, like, hey, let's get, you know, bands, like these party buses and get everybody around the thing and, and basically it was like no that's going to take too much organization i was like okay you know it, so it's, it it's not it like we couldn't have done the same thing is enlightened and yeah so it's it's uh hats off uh and then it, with four points so so rough so there's a new um new yeah if you if that was and then colon too they won colon which was yeah this complete, this complete mystery to me. It was like the top players from both sides went to Thailand, right? And Go had to time. do this yeah. secret mission. Yeah, and then whoever won that secret mission, and that's a video out that's out now, so check that out. Yeah. Um, kind of goes through what they had to go through. Huh? And it and it's funny because I don't remember if it was on a YouTube comment or it it was something in our community somewhere. Someone was just going off about how why did they send such and such to the team because you know they were basically saying the enlightened won it you know early on, and I was like, why did they have some like inside knowledge or something or is, did I just miss some mm -hmm. news or something? So it was it was funny that at the end um, it turned out the other way. And I was just looking on Reddit today for some news, and I saw a link there about apparently there was a, an enlightened member that was removed from the event because they were causing a ruckus or doing something. So at oh. some point it ended up being, you know, five to six on there, which is weird. Like, I didn't see, I guess, you know, I, I guess they're not going to want to blast that you know yeah. anywhere but it, it just know. seemed odd teamwork makes the dream work people either whatever That's side right. you're on you gotta be there and and try to stay positive and it's easy for me to stay because i wasn't in 100 degree weather in thailand so <laughs> right because i heard it was pretty brutal condition yeah that was, um, was the all they were talking part. about right the teams everyone was just like it sucked yeah. It was hard. It was. It hot. was terrible. Yeah. It was a very close race, I believe. If if just looking at the videos, it seemed like it, it was like you know a minute behind or so. Maybe maybe not. Mm -hmm. Maybe that was the editing that showed that. But congrats to all that uh, got to go, and uh, good job, Resistance for winning another one, another event. Yeah. Congrats. And like you said, the premiere, actually they premiered it on YouTube. Like, so it was like eight o'clock or whenever. Mm -hmm. And so there was a bunch of people in chat watching it live. They, they had shown it in Chicago and this was where they actually told us to quit streaming. And so, oh yeah, we, so we, we had streaming. streaming at this point. And then he had to turn it off. <laughs> One time we had streaming going, and we're like, oh, cool content. We're going to, it's like, oh, no, you can't stream this. It's like, of course. Of course. Why? Of course. Why would we want to stream this? 
Well, I can just talk, I guess, while there's a blank screen, because <laughs> there would be content here. <laughs> and we were nice. We didn't stream. I mean, we probably could have no, snuck a phone the rules. in there, but we're nice in that. Also, big news came out today. What's this stuff you were talking about? Community stuff? Oh, yeah. There's a new community platform coming later next week. So, um, as most people know, Ingress uh, had formerly been using Google Plus pages for communication and for OPR questions and things like that. Um, but that doesn't exist anymore. So, um, they have developed their own social platform so that uh, people can connect with other agents and have OPR support and things like that. And so uh, that will be debuting later next week. And um, it will be somewhat of a beta-ish type of program because they do want feedback from players on how to improve it. So don't expect it to be the final product product. Um, when it launches, they will want your feedback so that they know what's needed from the community. So, yeah, how feedback. about how about we don't all just like rush in and just say it sucks. You're right. <laughs> Let's be a little. They know that. That's why they want feedback. <laughs> Feel free to tell them what's wrong, but don't just go. This sucks. I'm out of here. Walk out the door. Yeah. Or do maybe we don't want you there anyway. Yeah, if that's attitude, I guess. Then. <laughs> So uh, we also, so that's most of the news, but, but while we're here, I did want to go ahead and play the other videos we got at Abaddon Prime, and we were lucky enough that T.S. Morpheus sent us in a video. Now, this is a few minutes, so sit awesome. back, get your popcorn. This is from T.S. Morpheus and a little bit about who they are and what they do. You were making me laugh at the end. I hate you. <laughs> oh. Hey, hold up. There we go. Uh. TS Morpheus team. A team of researchers trying to look into XM technologies for making better worlds, as well as other small projects. We made quite an impact last year in the investigation community with bed drops, um, cross faction challenges, and well, even portal media drops from the missions that some agents created. How did this all come about? It all began with a plan two years ago. A group of investigators from Operation Essex come together, came together to hatch a plan for a portal luminescence project at 2018's Camp Navarro called Camp Storyteller. Their goal was to collect stories from agents all around the world through the portal network to power their tech Zulu. To advertise for a camp, I redacted the proposal that we sent out to the NIA and had it leaked by members of our group. The original intention was to advertise for our camp and to reveal that we were behind the leak. However, to our surprise, Operation Essex got hooked on the mysterious document. Now, fuel but such good luck, the team decided to continue their story and, well, then we just continue growing. That drops were found. Hustles were solved by agents all over the world, and cross-faction operations were run. Agents fueled by the XM even drew fan art of the researchers. Then, at Camp Navarro, we had our grand finale. So thanks to this buzzing XM anomaly, we were able to ingress into this universe. Your universe. And... Together with all the other agents gathered there, we showed what was the ending of that particular research project. And our big plan for the future? Well, let's just say we're not finished yet. 
And if someone is listening who wants to change the world with us, you know, um, get the domain of XM and its possibilities, we're opening looking for the members right now. So. You were making me laugh at the end. I hate you. <laughs> Oh, that's awesome. awesome. So that's awesome, yeah. Thanks for sending that in. Uh, I believe Pi sent that in to us, Agent Pi from TS Morpheus, and, and they all work together to get that information to us. So hopefully uh, we're talking about having some more more segments from them if they want to do more lore and things like that, that, that uh, we'd love to get them on the show. And also, so... Theta, he was there near the end there. I I talked to him for a minute at the anomaly, so I'm gonna go ahead and play that too. Okay. Hello, um, agents. This is Theta from the Morpheus Project. Some of our eight, some of our members have decided to RPE into the twenty twelve, the twelve eighteen versions of our of ourselves and. In the process of doing so, we're trying to we're trying to amass as many artifacts as possible for to in, in order to further our our experiments that we have going on in our home realm. Um, also, what we're doing is we're gathering stories to to transmit into the portal network over at the TS Morpheus Tech Theater. Too many buttons. Okay, so shouldn't be echoing now. Uh, but that was great because there was so much going around us, and uh, he he got some information out there. So thank you, T. S. Morpheus, and whoever you all are. Haha. <laughs> it sounds very mysterious, but it's very interesting. You know what else is interesting? What? It's it's funny you should say what. I, I don't know what's happening. It's not going, so I'm just going to have to do this. What's in the castle? I don't know. That's what's going on tonight. So, we have a couple call-ins. Let's start with uh, Monkey Pelt. Agent Monkey Pelt here of the Tucson Enlightened. Here's a little AP farming trick for all you agents going through the academy. The Agent Academy. This tip involves throwing a simple multi-layered field with two anchors and a spine. I prefer to capture anchor A on one day, anchor B two days later, and finally capturing the spine and throwing the layers two days after capturing anchor B. As you're throwing layers from the spine, make sure you link the spine portals together to create the mini fields. This way, the spine and the anchors all decay on different days. In this example, anchor A would decay first, allowing you to rethrow layers to the spine from anchor A. Don't forget to throw the baseline first. Two days later, anchor B would decay, allowing you to throw layers to the spine from anchor B. Finally, two days later, the spine would decay allowing you to rethrow the whole field again. This way, you can throw the field three times in a week instead of only once. Here are a few disclaimers. This strategy really only works in uncontested areas where you have to wait for the fields to decay before you can rethrow them. Tucson resistance, please step it up. This strategy works best with seven layers or less. If you want to throw more than seven layers, you need to use SoftBank Ultra Link Amps when you rethrow from each anchor. Remember, this strategy works best for farming AP, not MU. I've been using it for two weeks now and it's working wonderfully. Now I'm looking for multiple locations. I can have these fields running simultaneously. Thank you, Agent Monkey Pelt. And sorry, Agent Zelly Belly, I know you can't hear that. Because whenever I turn it on for you to hear, it creates an echo, apparently. I thought 
Th- That's that just okay. happened when I talked. I can hear it when I listen to the show. Okay. Yeah, it's fine. You, you listen to the show? No. I don't, I don't believe it. Okay. I swear already, I'm already on it. So. <laughs> right? I, I lived it. I lived yeah. the show. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh. Well, going back and watching your wedding video, like who does that? <laughs> I, I, I re-edited our <laughs> wedding video. Is that bad? Oh, <laughs> no, that's sweet. Oh, well, it was really crap. The first one, they just put a VCR camera up, and so anyway, and walked away. Yeah, and it was all yellow, like old <laughs> awesome. stained yellow, yellow. Anyway, so thanks Pain for that uh, tip. It was a tip on how to basically throw a field in a way that you could rethrow it a few times in a week so parts of it were decaying at separate times uh, but oh, you know for agent telly belly to know what's going on she'll go back and listen to the show next week Let's see i don't know we'll figure out something maybe send you the audio file so you can listen early or not okay also we have a call in from agent dewey J. This was supposed to be on the show last week, but, you know, blame me. Hey, agents. Agent Dewey J. This time bringing you a tool tip, a little scanner tip. This is something that only works in Prime. Seems like it's kind of a weird idea, but it has its place. It's a battery saver mode. So right now I have my phone straight up, but if I invert it and put the head to the bottom... Ta-da! Battery saver mode. Now, why would you want battery saver mode? Well, if you're going to play, you need everything that's there. But if you're going to be walking from portal to portal, you don't have to hold your phone and keep things active. You can simply put it in your pocket, head side down. It goes into low battery mode, or battery saver, but it keeps track of your steps, so you get the distance. You whip it out, and away you go. Just something new that you may not know, uh, it's probably on. If it's not, you'll have to go into your settings and turn on battery saver mode. Thanks, everybody. Awesome. Thank you for that tip. And now we finally see what battery saver mode does. I've been using it. Have you tried it at all? Nope. That was uh, a video on that. I'm sure you couldn't hear anything again. But uh... You know, it gives me a reason to go back and watch the show. It'll be great. <laughs> right. Uh, so that's about uh, all we have in what's in the capsule today. If you want to send in something, just go to speakpipe.com slash agentacademy. You can also find other ways to do it. Telegram, maybe. Email Zellybelly. There's a form somewhere to search the website. There may be a badge involved there on the website, too. So it's worth finding. Oh, man. Right. I've been unlocking the website badges. Like I've been addicted to doing that lately. So uh, all of my badges are completely out of order for the episodes because I kind of just do them in chunks. I'll like, oh yeah, I haven't put those in in a while, and then I'll put a bunch in, and then I realize I put them in backwards and stuff. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. Well, and it's good because <laughs> then you'll send me a message and be like, hey, this one doesn't work, and I go in, and I go, God, why has anybody said anything? It's messed up. Yeah. Yeah, but, uh, yeah, I fix things. I appreciate by it. By being late with things. Oh, you need to get the bug badge then. I've given out, I tried to give it out to anyone who submits a bug for the website. Yeah, because I submitted two then. Yeah. At least. I'll just send that out. Well, speaking cool. of achievement code, you can get one for this episode. Just go to the website. And I've already tested it. So I know it works. It should work. I'm going to enter it. And uh, so just go there. You can find it if you know where. If you don't, wait till the episode comes out and you'll see it. And the passcode is AA Res Wins AP AA. That's, and that's R E S W I N S A P. So there you go. And now, I guess that's it. You got I anything that's else? It. Yeah. Um, someone did message me, um, and they noticed that the XM after the event has been blue, in at mm. least in um, Prime. I don't yeah. know what it's doing in Redacted, because I deleted Redacted off my phone, actually. Damn! <laughs> yeah! Gone! 
I just don't use it. <laughs> so, uh, and someone said, like, you know, hey, you know, you can still submit portal submissions in there. I don't. If I ever hit like my limit and I need to, I'll re-download it. It's free. It's not if that you big. can. But, <laughs> uh, but um, no, I just I done as, as soon as scores got in and nominations are in, done with it. Yeah. So, uh, but anyway, in Prime, I don't know if it is in Redacted because, like I said, I'm not using it. But um, all the XM is blue, and someone said that's because. They won. Resistance won. I mean, on Prime, is that true? Or has it always been blue? No. Is it like really blue? No, it's, it's always... really blue. All right then. And um, I don't remember. And I please forgive me, person who mentioned it to me, but they said it was one of our "What's in the Capsule" um, suggestions oh, right. uh, from somebody. Um, so uh, that whoever wins anomalies should the XM should be that color for a little while. Yeah. So, a good call. I wonder who that was. If that was a, I have to look. Someone who messaged. Let me look real quick. See if, but see the problem is I think they messaged me on Telegram, and I just I'm a they mess just go with away. This. Oh, so it was probably in the Telegram like uh, Agent Academy main Telegram because I remember seeing it. Oh, okay. So I think it's in, in the main one. So if if you're not in that, go get in that. It's a Telegram channel. I believe there may be a link on the website. I can't remember if we put that there or not. I don't think there is. We'll have to, I guess, at some point. Uh, yeah, we at... want people to be in the Telegram for the show, right? Yeah. yeah. It's not like a secret. Yeah, and uh, uh, T.S. Morpheus adds a good point. I guess that's Pi. Uh, they did also add a new glyph. Oh, yeah. Apparently a very rare glyph, because I've not seen it yet, but it's Osiris. And I guess the glyph sequence for it is uh, Resistance something all victory something something osiris i don't know there's five words there yeah resistance victory like sentence portal probably and oh, uh, it, osiris i found it it was dragons for lunch dragons for lunch but yeah, you got his so. bio card which yeah i can't believe i almost didn't so i also got another bio card that i've got to get to you so one and only oh it's really dark. Let's see if I can get the light on it. There we go. Agent 2 ej and oh, cool. our logo on it, too. So That's cool. That's yeah. really cool. Thanks. And so if he doesn't leave it in the car, time. I look forward to that. Oh, it's safe there. It's safe. I'll have it later. Ah. I'm sorry. It's fine. But I do enjoy picking at you. It's, <laughs> it's actually this is kind of a present, so I'm kind of. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> well, the present for everyone else is uh, we're turning it off, and we'll see you next week. Is that a present? Woo! Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, bye. Bye, everybody. Bye.